Hey guys, welcome, welcome. So today uh, I am starting a new project. I have a suit coat here that is very well loved. Uh, as you can see at the cuffs and even all the way up the arm and through the arm's eye. So I figured I'd start today by sharing with you um, how you would start this process of doing a repair like this. This is a pretty extensive one. Um, maybe you just have a sweatshirt or something that has a little fraying at the cuffs. We could uh, do something like that. But for this particular project, this is a suit coat, which is fully lined. So um, this lining on the arms kind of have deemed it that uh, this it, this needs to be replaced. I think the best course of action to fix this is to replace it. We are gonna basically take the arms of the lining off of this coat so that we can access this outer sleeve. And then we're gonna take apart the, the, the lining of the arm to create patterns to cut a whole new sleeve lining for each arm of the jacket. Um, Cause at this point, a lot of this shredding out, it's, uh, it's not repairable at this point. It needs to be replaced. I don't know if you can see kind of here, all of these runs in the lining, that distressed fabric. Um, even if I could repair this hole right here with filler or, you know, whatever, uh, this stress, this is already stressed right here and it's gonna just continue to shred out. Let's see if I can get that a little closer without it getting too blurry. So yeah, even if I could fix the hole, this is all stressed through here and will continue to shred even more and we wanna prevent that. So we're just gonna replace the sleeve linings and we'll use the existing sleeves as our pattern to do so. So to, to start, um, even though this jacket, you know, is manufactured, a lot of people forget that manufactured clothes are still made by somebody. Um, there's no machine that I know of that can run on its own as of right now to just make a whole garment without any human interaction. Uh, so you can see, hopefully on here, there's a really, really beautiful hand stitch here to finish off this edge which we'll recreate when we put our new sleeve in as well. But this is a good place to start popping stitches to get this sleeve detached from the outer jacket. Just looking for a good starting place. Oh, and I wanna show off this today. This is one of my favorite seam rippers this is pretty sweet um it's actually it's not just an ergonomic seam ripper it has two ends to it this, so this is a point turner on this end and a skinny seam ripper on this end and when you're not using them you can just pop that out flip it back inside and so to, and this end does that as well so that if you travel with it, or if you put it in your pocket, you can uh, safely travel with it and not stab or rip everything apart. Um, and I got this on Etsy. I will try to look up who I got that from, but um, I definitely I got this on Etsy. I thought it was a really cool color. And I apologize. I will do my best to keep this on camera. Sometimes I get a little carried away and bring it real close to my face so that I can see. Because sometimes, you know, you're working black on black. It's harder to see. I get going here. I'm just trying to figure out what the chaining of this thread 
kind of is and what it does so that I can easily get it apart. Because sometimes when you're taking stuff apart, um, you know, a basic, basic stitch is, you know, sandwiching two pieces of fabric together. But sometimes when you're hand sewing or even um, if you have serger seams, uh, they can be directional. And what I mean by that is that if you pull certain threads out, um, that kind of interlocking chain that it creates unlocks and then it's a lot easier to pull the stitches without having to do a ton of heavy lifting. See like on this one, this one is kind of going this direction as opposed to this direction. And uh, some people say, like, you know, you're just going to cut that line. You're going to cut a new lining. Why be so careful to take it out? Well, because I want to keep this as intact as possible so that I can use it as my pattern because I am replacing this lining. I'm not just repairing it. I am doing a full replacement of it. So we want to keep it as intact as possible so that we can replicate it so we can restore this jacket to what it was. We're a little bit more than halfway around. And just like that, we are now detached from the cuff. Little interfacing on the inside. For those of you that have never seen a, you know, a jacket apart like this, this is a camel hair jacket. So, so yeah. Now that we've got it detached from the cuff, the next place is actually the uh, this right here in the arm, about you know halfway down. There's a connection point on the inside. This is put in to help keep the lining from shimmying down the sleeve and poking out of the cuff. Uh, but sometimes it also creates a stress point like it has and has helped to shred this up. So now that we've got that detached, we can go up to the top. Now this probably is the, the hardest point because this is actually seamed together and it's, um, you can kind of see here on the sleeve where they've top stitched the sleeve shut, that's where they've turned the lining or turned the jacket through the lining so that there is a flat, flat seam here in the arm's eye. 
Sometimes you'll see the connection points in the arm's eye. Sometimes you'll see them in the sleeve. Sometimes you'll see them in the bottom hems. You know, it's just really wherever the manufacturer wants to flip the jacket right side out. Um, if you're feeling so bold, this little ball point on your seam ripper, you can kind of get into the seam and then really push and run to get that seam out. Uh, this is a silk lining and I don't want to, <laughs> it's a very sharp seam ripper, so I don't want to accidentally slice through the fabric even with that ball point protection. So I'm just going to go a few stitches at a time here and try to get this open. And at a certain point too, you'll start to see the the bi the um the stay stitches that they've put in. Now, sometimes people are like, what is, you know, what is this little flap here? This is a, this is a dress shield or a sweat guard, if you will. Help preserve your jacket. This part's hard to pull apart because the uh, the fabric is shredding out. So you want to make sure that we don't pull too hard and just like disintegrate this. You do really want to be gentle and get it apart nicely. I apologize. I keep bringing that a little close to me because, again, black on black. I'm trying to hit the stitches and not the fabric. I think we successfully got that loose through there. So let's keep going. Now, um, anybody can kind of do this repair. I would say it is kind of more of a moderately advanced repair because you are deconstructing, patterning, and then reconstructing. And the reconstruction part can sometimes be really tricky. Now on this jacket, I have to replace both sleeves. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do myself a favor and I'm going to only take out one sleeve, do the repair, and put it back in so that I have the other sleeve intact so that I can see how it was originally put together. I don't know about anybody else, but a lot of times um, I'm very much a visual learner. If you give me what it is, I can look at it, I can inspect it, and then I can kind of make it from there. I might not need instructions. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're helpful, but like in this case, I don't have any. All I have is the visual of how it was originally put in. So I will do one side, put it back together, and then I will take apart the other side and repeat the process. I also take a lot of still pictures of of these projects not just to you know to do the before and after which is great don't get me wrong but um it's really more so i can recreate how it was put together now see here we might get into a little bit of a bind 
because there is a shoulder pad in here. So we're going to get a lot of these really little tight stitches that aren't going to want to let go very easily. And why there's a lot of little tight stitches is because a lot of people don't realize, but when you sew on a curve, the smaller and tighter your stitches are, the smoother the circle you're going to get. See, I don't want to get in myself in trouble here. I really want to find an opening for that point to come through so that I don't slice the fabric. But you know what? If you do slice the fabric, don't panic. I mean, I'm sure you will. We all have been there. But um, fixable. Totally fixable. Real tight, tiny stitches through the shoulder. What I did in the first step too, to release the edge of the cuff, that is how you actually would shorten jacket sleeves as well. Um, a very, very, very common jacket alteration is to shorten or lengthen the sleeves. Uh, and to really do that the right way, you're gonna have to pop that lining away from the, from the jacket cuff because you'll need a, uh, you just need to get in there so you can, like I said, either shorten or lengthen the fabric. We almost made it all the way around here. tell this is kind of where they've done a lot of their back stitching to put things together so you just want to be cautious and make sure that we're only getting the stitches that we want okay so we've gone through all of the black stitches now we're gonna have to go through those stay stitches to get this sleeve off then you'll really start to see the meat and potatoes of how this jacket is put together. And it's gonna look a little scary, but again, be confident. You will be able to put this back together. See like right here, this fabric is just absolutely roached. This is the most dangerous part, if you will.
and you do not have to keep the thread as intact as I sometimes do. Um, sometimes I do that just so that I can pull out all of my excess thread easily, quickly, and not have to go back and pick everything out. But um, by all means, please feel free to just cut this and run right through it. really start to see that in the insides of the jacket <laughs> all the stuff that they don't want you to see you're seeing it wow yeah again just going to be real careful here not to rip anything out that we don't want ripped out. The intention for this jacket is that we are only replacing the sleeves, not the body. It's just that minor repair on the vent. You know, and sometimes you can work the fabric to your advantage like that run I just did you know and hold it open and really go to town but sometimes you have to go slow and steady which is okay Here we are through that really tight shoulder again. And as you can see, this extra piece of fabric right here, if you saw my, um, my live feed of cutting out the pattern for my bucket hats, this is the notch, the top of the arm's eye, that lines up with this notch 
which is the top shoulder seam. So again, just for your own sake and patterning life, um, it's not just me who does that. You know, it's a pretty standard sewing thing that you cut notches when you're cutting your patterns so you know where to line them up once they're off your cutting table. Now I know you can't see it. This is a good exercise in patience for me because normally when I do this stuff, I hold this pretty close to my face, which I probably shouldn't. Um, but right now, what you can't see is me off camera. This is about a foot and a half away from my body. I'm usually a lot closer to it so I can really see what the heck I'm doing. And there we have it. Oh, that one's from the, this side. Just give that a little trim. And there she is. This is your shoulder seam. And your jacket. Here's the detached sleeve. And I do, I think it's fascinating that you can kind of see the wear of the jacket over time and how it's faded out. So we've got this off and now uh, continuing on. We'll take, take this sleeve apart. This is a two-sided sleeve, so a front and a back, and uh, I think I'm going to do that off camera, and then we'll move on to using this as our pattern to replace the sleeve. So stay tuned for another live feed with all of that. Thanks for watching, friends, and I'm sewing with Stacy. I'm Stacy, <laughs> and I will see you between the seams.